Hi everyone! Welcome to the introduction to Certified Blockchain Architect course. This course is designed to give you an expert understanding along with practical applications of the blockchain domain. This course will also help you architecting your blockchain solutions. So what is Certified Blockchain Architect Training, or CBA? CBA training entitles you to utilize your expertise to make important decisions related to blockchain projects and to craft the guidelines and structure of the whole blockchain system, considering the requirement of the system. A certified blockchain architect is a skilled professional who understands and knows deeply what is blockchain and how blockchain works and also uses the same knowledge to build blockchain-based applications for enterprises and businesses. The CBA credential certifies individuals in the blockchain discipline of distributed ledger technology from a vendor-neutral perspective. So, we do not talk about any specific technology or promote them unless they have any specific feature which is useful for any research work and the blockchain work. The Certified Blockchain Expert is exhaustive training and exam-based program aims to provide proof of knowledge to the certificate holder in the blockchain space. Alright, so when we're developing the structure of the course, it's important to look at the purpose of the course. The purpose is to establish and govern the minimum standards for credentialing the blockchain architect specializes in the enterprise development measures inform the public that credential individuals meet or exceed the minimum standards, reinforce the blockchain expertise as a unique and self-regulating profession. If you're looking for proving your skills to the potential employers and research projects, we think that's the right purpose of the certified blockchain architect. For whom this certification is, well, this course is most relevant for software engineers and architects, application architects, programmers and developers because of the technical nature of the course. Software engineering and architects can use this course to build blockchain applications for their company and offices. Application architects can get an understanding of how the blockchain application works so that they can architect their applications. The course will also be beneficial for engineering and management students who want to understand how the whole thing works and how this can benefit them with their projects. Additionally, a university professor can use this to teach other students and transfer their knowledge from this certification to them in the classroom. Operation Head and Business want to learn how operations can be optimized utilizing the blockchain or if the blockchain is the right fit for them or not. Additionally, senior government officials can benefit from this course if they want to understand how the government can solve real-world organizational problems using the blockchain technology. Apart from that, security professional or administrator who wants to know how the whole security architecture of the blockchain work, how the blockchain can work securing the data and other transactions easily. Even venture capitalists, angel and seed investors can benefit from this course. If they're looking to invest in the blockchain-based startups and want to understand how to define blockchain architecture. The benefit of this course, the best advantage of doing this certification, can get you hired easily because nowadays many companies are looking to integrate blockchain services in their companies and this course will help you learn the fundamentals of many commonly used blockchain solutions. It is the right certification for you to understand the underlying understanding and gain the basic knowledge of the blockchain to prove it during the interview. Grasp the deep understanding of blockchain and how it works. Implement your skills to any blockchain projects. Build your own blockchain business with acquired knowledge if you want to. If you are a founder looking for an idea, 
then blockchain is the best way to grow your business. So what are the requirements for taking this course? Since this is a course about designing a network architecture, it would help if you all have a basic knowledge of computer science. For instance, knowledge about how computer works, how networking works, and other basic information about web services. You don't need an in-depth advanced knowledge of these concepts, and we'll go over the concepts that will be relevant to the course. It would also help to have awareness of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. But don't worry if you're new to some of these concepts as we'll cover the parts that will be relevant to the course. You must be motivated enough to learn the blockchain deeply because that'll be useful for you to successfully complete this course. A little bit of background in programming and software development will undoubtedly come in handy for better comprehending the concepts described in the course. So there will be around 8 hours of total training, after that there will be 1 hour of the exam. The exam will contain 45 questions which you have to answer and you have to cross the minimal threshold to get the certification. Again the exam will be 100 marks. You have to acquire 60 plus marks to clear the exam, and if you fail the exam, you can retake the exam after one day. Total three attempts are allowed. Beyond three attempts, if you failed to acquire 60 plus marks, even after three attempts, you would need to contact the Blockchain Council team to have manual assistance for clearing the exam. This is how the certificate will look like, the whole certificate. The certificate will be online verifiable on our Blockchain Council website, so anybody can search for you and give you some projects. If they have some tasks, they can reach out to you from our websites. This will be the course content. We will go through the introduction first, and then we will understand what blockchain is, how it works, and why blockchain is essential. Then we'll jump into the understanding of how and why it is better than the traditional technology, why you should compare, and how you should compare. Then we'll answer the question of whether blockchain is a magic bullet to all of the business problems and also look at how blockchain decisions are made. Then we will go into different technologies and programming languages that can be used to architect blockchain applications along with cryptography and blockchain algorithms. From there, we'll go on to looking at different kinds of blockchains, such as private and public blockchains, and permissioned versus permissionless blockchain, and cloud versus native blockchains. Next, we will learn about the different ways to develop our own network nodes, including functional risks, how to solve scaling issues on-chain versus off-chain using Lighting Network, the COCO framework, smart contracts, and oracles. We'll then cover the business aspect of blockchain using stakeholders in different types of blockchains. Then we'll move on to the different technical components that make up a blockchain, including ledger, smart contracts, peers, and protocols. Then we'll be ready to move to the main sections about architecting and your own blockchain solution. We'll look at some of the best practices to employ when analyzing requirements and translating them into functions. After we have aptly identified the requirements and functions, we can start building our blockchain application by translating stakeholders into nodes which can be used to manage the network. We can give privileges to certain nodes and define roles for the different types of nodes. We would also need to define development resources, that is, the different programming frameworks and programming languages that will be used for development. Finally, we'll be moving on to actual development and hosting. Then, for concluding, we'll end by looking at security issues in implementing blockchain solutions, including legal and governmental regulations, 
and the hurdles faced by new entrants in the blockchain space. We'll also be taking a look at some of the ways to mitigate the enterprise, operational, and market risk for blockchains.